channel. Today I'll be showing you how I created this simple eye makeup look. I'll also share a few tricks and tips so that you can complete this look under 10 minutes. So let's start. As you can see, I've already done my eyebrows off camera. Now I'm using the Wet n Wild concealer on my lids as a base for my eyeshadow and I'm blending it out with my ring finger. Details of all products are mentioned in the description box, so please make sure you check that out. I'm setting the concealer with compact powder so that it won't crease. I'm using the Maybelline compact powder with the powder brush. This brush is from Wet n Wild. You can also use the sponge that comes along with the compact powder. I'm taking this light brown shade from Wet n Wild Rose in the Air Palette and I'm applying on my crease as my transition shade, gently buffing the eyeshadow in windshield wiper motion and also to and fro motions. I'm using a basic flat eyeshadow brush from Vega for this step. Then to further define my crease, I'm taking this deeper brown shade and blending it with the transition color using the same flat eyeshadow brush itself. rusty orange color and I'm packing the color on the outer corner of my eye. Now the trick is to just pack and apply all the colors until you get the desired payoff. Then I will be blending all the shadows together which I will be showing you later on. I find this method easy when I want to create an eye look with two or more colors. It actually saves a lot of my time. Next I'm taking the green shimmery shade from the Makeup Revolution Eyes Like Angels palette and I'm applying it on my inner corner and extending it a little further. I'm using the regular sponge applicator which you get in almost all the eyeshadow palettes. This green color is actually a very beautiful shimmer shade and I personally love all the shimmers of this palette. Now I'm taking this white shimmer shade and applying it to the center of the lids using my ring finger. A great way to get maximum color payoff from the shimmer shadows is to apply them with your fingers. If you don't want to use your finger, you can spray some makeup fixer to your flat eyeshadow brush and then apply the shade. I'm blending the white shadow softly with the rusty orange color. I'm also blending out all the three colors to give a smooth transition between the shades. The next step is the most important step and it's to blend all the lit shades with the transition shade. To do this, I'm using an eyeshadow blending brush. I'll give all the product details in the description box so you can check that out. Take the warm brown transition shade and blend out all the lit shades so that all the harsh edges are blended well. Next, I'll be applying eyeliner. I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Liquid Liner and making a small wing. I'm extending my wing from the lower lash line this is one great way to get symmetric eyeliner on both the eyes. For mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Volume Express Mascara. It is one of my favorite mascaras I've used so far. I'm applying on my lower lashes and also my upper lashes. I hate clumpy lashes, so I'm just applying a single coat of mascara. Now taking the powder brush and removing off all the excess fallouts from my face. I'm taking the L18 Kajal and applying it on my lower lash line and also tight lining my waterline. You can easily get this Kajal from local stores. It is an intensely black Kajal within 100 bucks. lid I'm taking this very pretty vibrant blue shade from the eyes like angels palette and applying it with the help of the same sponge applicator I'm also taking the green shimmer shade and applying it to my inner corner and blending both the colors a little I'm using this peachy brown shade to highlight my brow bone and clean up that area I'm doing this with the same sponge applicator. Let 
let me quickly do my other eye and get back to you guys for the final look so this is the final look guys you can apply falsies but i don't wear false lashes much i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if any of you recreate this look do tag me so that i can see i'll share few pics taken inside the room and also in daylight so you can see how wearable this eye look is please take a moment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed also hit on that tiny bell icon to get notified whenever i upload new videos like share and leave your comments down thanks for watching until next time it's bye from reena and advanced republic day wishes mm -hmm.